Hello everyone, it's your favourite queen, Android18 here, and welcome to a new Let's Play, the Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. I apologise my throat's a little sore today, however, I'm ready to play some more Duel Links. I finished levelling up Bastion, so now I'm levelling up Mokuba Kaiba, and there's a Mokuba copy, so I'm going to go beat him up quickly, and then I'm going to do a couple of player versus player duels online to try out my Dark Magician Girl deck. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. If you're enjoying this video by the end, make sure to hit the like button. Also hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit the bell to get notifications for more gameplay videos from me. I'm playing Japanese audio again. I played English last time, but I normally play Japanese at the moment. So I got my alien boys ready to take Mokuba down. I just wanted to show you guys I'm the superior Mokuba. So I put it back on auto duel now because this Moku is way too weak for me. But anyway, we're just gonna blast through this guy and then we'll do some PvP with Dark Magician Girl. I think I'll do casual today as I want to chill out because it's really hot today and yeah, <laughs> it's pretty horrible because I because I have people around. I pretty much have to record my room, so it's hot and stuffy and not too good. krillin has got some friends around. And I'm not in the mood to feed Goku and humor Vegeta, so, you know, that's up to Krillin. Anyway, it's time to switch to Taya Gardner, because she has Holy Garden, she's a bay, and she's amazing. So let's go into some casual duels here. It's down here. Oh look, Taya's even on the poster for casual duels. So, let's do this. They've revamped the um, PvP, so if you win matches you get gems. I'm not sure if that's for just casual games though. However, this should be a lot of fun. We're going to prove the Dark Magician Girl is awesome. And <laughs> even if I lose, she'll still be awesome. Oh, that trippy sound for that playmat though. Okay, he's got Yugi's field spell skill, so he gets a free field spell at the start of the game. It's time to take Yugi down with the power of Teya Bay Gardner. What kind of decks do you guys want me to play on here? I'm curious. So I've got the Dark Burning attack. So if you control Dark Magician Girl, you can destroy all face-up monsters your opponent controls. That's what we want with Dark Magician Girl. I'm playing a normal monster because one of my monsters can search them out. We've got a pretty good starting hand though. Oh, he's playing the exact same monster I'm playing. That's a coincidence. His field spell will power up my monster too. And there's my prismatic dark magician girl. So, this is perfect. I think I'll play the exact same monster he just did. I'll set this card to defend my monsters and we'll go from there. I won't attack into his Neo because we'll both destroy each other because we have the same attack points. But this should be a lot of fun. Still getting used to recording gameplays, but this is fun. So he's summoning... Oh, the Black Rose Witch. Which of the Black Rose? Oh no, I'm in trouble here. I have a choice to make. It's either... It's basically let my monster die and steal his monster next turn, kind of. Oh no, I think I made a mistake, but oh well. I haven't lost yet. We can do this, guys. Seiju Breaker, the magical warrior. Oh, he's trash talking me. He'll pay for that. This will teach him to brag. I've got the most attack points now. Thanks to break his counter ability. He gets a counter and gets attack points. 300 attack if he has a counter. So, get slapped, Yugi. Let's do like a taunt. Yeah, what she said. If you get overconfident, you're gonna trip up. That card he had face down, it doesn't look like he can activate it. So I'm going to use Breaker's ability to destroy the one he just set, because it's probably got um something he can do against me. Probably a battle trap or something. 
Let's see if I'm right. If I know my dueling. Five Brothers Explosion? Oh no. It's a burn deck, I think. I'm not giving up. It's time for Legion the Fiend Jester. He gives me an additional normal summon for a spellcast to type monster. Tribute summon. Here comes the Dark Magician Girl, guys. Enjoy. Oh, she's so cute in this game. I love it. You'll see why I made a deck around her now. She's so waifu in this game. It's amazing. She looks awesome, too. So the reason I want normal monsters is because Legion, when he's used his summon ability, and when he leaves the field, he can search for a normal monster. So I get a free card for free, basically. So let's take this guy down. With a Dark Magician Girl. Darker Burning. Let's take this dude out. Oh no, boss held by a tribute. He destroyed my girl and destroyed all my monsters. That card's really uncommon. I think this guy's just starting off and he just happened to have a really good card against my deck. Okay, I'm really in trouble now. There's me getting overconfident. I'm probably gonna lose now. Oh no. Oh no, I'm still in the door. He didn't flip his monster up. I'm gonna win this, guys. Share your energy with me. We can do this. Yeah, again, I apologize for my sore throat. It's just the way it is today. So here's Gemini Elf. Taya's got dialogue for that, so that's cool. I'll take out his normal monster. With the power up from his field spell, my Gemini Elf's on 2100, which is really good. It has a base of 1900 normally. If I'm lucky, I could win this duel. Oh no, my messages are on again. Sadly, my Dark Burning attack can't be used now, I don't think, because I lost my Magician Girl. But I can't leave my life points open or else he'll beat me. So what I think I'll... I'll yeah, I can't talk. What I think I'll do is, I'll set Legion for now and just keep attacking. Oh, this lets him summon a monster back from the graveyard. Magical Undertaker. It's a flip effect. So when the monster flips up, it gets its special ability. But yeah, this duel's interesting. It's pretty close. I'm still losing, but hopefully I can win this. I'm going to use my trap to negate his monster's ability and discard the card I can't use. So that way he doesn't get his monster back from the graveyard and his monster's destroyed. I'm doing pretty good, I think. As long as he doesn't summon a tribute monster, I should be fine. Because I can synchro someone with Dark Resonator next turn. That face sound could be tricky. I think that's what she was saying. I'll summon my Armored B and just see how it goes. If he's... If that Yugi's got um, War of Disruption, I'm probably going to lose. It's a really good battle trap in this game. Oh, that's okay. He just flipped it face down. But yeah, I really do apologize. My throat's really bad right now. I'm feeling fine now, but I kind of got sick earlier, so my throat's a bit gravelly. So that's why my throat's all messed up. Soul Absorption. If a card's banished, he gains 500 life points. Interesting. By the looks of it, I think I've won this duel, maybe. Now I've got this card to protect me. I'm going to flip up my um, other monster and try and go for game. Yay, these attacks are hitting him. So, if I can hit nail him next turn, I'll win. My other monster can't flip up because of his trap card. It flips it face down and stops it going up. And if a monster's stuck in defense mode, it can't attack. Yugi believes in his cards, but I don't think it'll be enough, Yugi. This is really tense. Cosmic Galaxy Cyclone. He's destroying my face down. That's not good. I'm not going to bother chaining it because he has no monsters, so... There's not really a reason to do it. 
That's another defensive card. And my Gemini Elf should be able to finish him off. Yay, I won, guys. I hope you like that intense duel. I like the Japanese yeah. I like the Japanese voices in Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah. With where I'm recording and considering I don't have my usual setup because my computer's not set up at the moment, I'm using my laptop. I probably won't edit out any of the fumbles I make with my audio. Mainly so I can get videos out a bit more for you guys. I think it's time for um I think we have time for like one more duel, so let's go for it, okay? I'm just going to have a quick drink. Oh, I love sugar. It's making me feel better. Okay, so we're fighting Yusei Fudo this time. This should be good. I should probably drink a little more so my throat doesn't get all gravelly again. Yeah, sorry about that. My throat is playing up. Hopefully I can get Dark Magician Girl out properly this time and use Dark Burning Attacks. It's really awesome. I love you Say's theme in this game. It's so cool. It's the music playing now in the background. Yeah, I'm dueling someone online, so that's why they're not responding very fast. But you probably know what PvP is. Ooh, Headless Knight. That's a um, monster Bakura uses, I believe. I think a solid option, because this spell powers his monsters up on his turn, but Gemini Elf's a lot stronger, so... Gemini Elf is so kind. So let's go for this. We'll power through his cards and hopefully have this make a swift victory for us. This is actually really fun recording this. I don't know what to really say, but yeah, it's fun. Oh, he seems to be having connection issues. He's got another banner of courage. I think this is a pretty new player because he's got quite a, a lot of the star cards. Because I play the game a lot, I've got a lot of the stronger cards. But strength isn't everything in a door. So his two banners powered him up by 400, but it's not enough for my 1900 owl. Hey, it's Dark Magician Girl. Let's summon her. Here comes the Black Magician Girl again. Get ready for her, guys. I'm gonna use Dark Burning Attack because I can get it off. And it puts pressure on him for next turn. Because he's only got one card in hand, I think it will secure me the game. Here we go. Dark Mat Burning Attack. Oh no, the fire alarm's going off. I think my parents are cooking something. I mean my parents-in-law, you know Krillin. Oh no, you say disconnected. Looks like I won again. Dark Magician Girl for the win. When I say Krillin's parents, I mean Bulma because she's essentially like Krillin's mum. She always just comes over, starts cooking after a couple too many drinks, and then starts scolding Krillin like his mother. So, yeah, Bulma's amazing. But I think she's going to be showing at Krillin soon for the fire alarm going off. It's probably his fault, according to Bulma. But anyway, I apologise for the noise. Bulma has been drinking a little bit today. And you know what she's like when she has a couple of tipsy drinks. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed that episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. And whoa, I've nearly maxed out my gems. So I'll probably do a pack opening video in Duel Links as my next video. And this is the um, pack store, and there's loads of new packs, so that'll be awesome. I've got a lot of the older ones, but I'm going to open some of the new ones. And I want to open one of the ones with Neos Fusion, because I want to make a Neos deck, so that'll be cool. But anyway, if you enjoyed this new Let's Play series of mine, make sure to hit the like button and comment other things you want me to like play and other things you want me to do on Duel Links because that really means a lot to me and I want to thank you so much for the support on my previous video you guys supported it like crazy 
and I really appreciate it. So thank you so much. I hope you have a lovely day. Make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications to get notifications for all my videos. The link to my Discord's in the description as well as the link to my Patreon if you want to support me there. And anyway, I've been Queen18 and don't forget everyone, subscribe to me because I'm definitely 18.